So now we want to talk a little bit about your bad habits, folks. You see a lot as a makeup artist. Yes. You see what women uh, are doing wrong. So yes. we're going to tackle a couple of them right now. Yes, I see this a lot Gabriella, of women. Gabriella, our model. Yes. Well, you see a lot of women uh, come for lessons with me, and this is a chance for us to sort of evaluate what they're doing. So figure out the problems. And yeah. one, I've got so many, and we're going to start with two today. One is when you put on concealer. So what I see a lot of women do, I say, show me how you put on your concealer. And they do this. Okay? That's what and then I, do. I go, well, I can still see the circle. Well, that's my problem. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What they're doing wrong is they're wiping it off. So there's a little technique in makeup artistry called stippling. And stippling means to add coverage. And you control it by dabbing up and down. So I'm going to take a little concealer. Look up. I'm going to press it, tap it, press it, overlapping. I'm not wiping. So what this does is it spreads out the product, it builds it up so that you get the coverage where you need it. So I'm just doing little tiny overlapping patting up and down. And that's going to keep that, it there rather it's than wiping keep it, it off. Exactly. Then where you want to blend is the edge, wherever the edge is so it blends into the surrounding skin. Mm -hmm. So you get the coverage where you need it and then you get the blending. And then if it's a concealer that doesn't set on its own, yeah. hit it with a little bit of powder and it will not move. It's going to stay. It's going to stay. And do you need a lot of it necessarily? No, a lot of women use too much. That's why I pick it up. I would never do this. Yeah. Okay, unless I'm covering up a large area, I would never do that. Okay. Okay. Stipple under Stipple. the eye. What's the other mistake? Now this making? is the one I'm sure all of you will remember either you doing it or your mother doing it. You're looking in the mirror, you're putting on your eyeliner, and you do this. Okay. <laughs> and then you put your eyeliner on, and then it all looks like you got droopy eyes. Yes. So because what's happened is you've gone outside the area too far. All right, and you made the line, it looks, distorts the eye. So what you want to do instead is bring your head this way, pull the eye out straight, put your thumb right at the end of the eye, hold it steady, look down for me, and then start your pencil right where your thumb is, and that way you're still within the guidelines of the eye, mm -hmm. and you're going to get a happy upswept eye, not a downturn, sad eye. Got it. And then see? you get that nice sweep. And another great trick, I always use concealer for many things. You can take a little concealer. If you have made a mistake, just put it on the outer corner of the eye and look how that cleans it up and lifts up the liner at the same time. Use your concealer as an eraser. Oh, I love it. Liquid paper for the face. Liquid paper for the face. <laughs> okay, does anyone do this? Pass me that uh, yes. eyeliner there. Yes, yes. This is the other one. What? Yes. <laughs> Why does our mouth have to be open? What is that? Apparently, <laughs> Why? It helps. It helps. <laughs> For some I can't strange do it with my mouth closed. I know, a lot too. of people can't. Yeah. yeah, it's very strange. But that's yeah. okay, though. That's <laughs> not messing totally up the makeup, fine. right? It's totally fine. Good modeling, honey. Good work. Let's go to break. More coming up. <laughs>